welcome to the podcast for when the curves line up for November 1st, 2023. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 7.23 a.m. Central Daylight Time followed by sunset at 5.45 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky. Step outside an hour before sunrise. Brilliant Venus, rising nearly four hours before sunrise, stands over 30 degrees above the east-southeast horizon. This morning it passes 11.6 degrees to the lower right of Denebula, the lion's tail, in a wide conjunction. Venus and the star are too far apart to fit into the same binocular field of view. During October, the planet's eastward dance through Leo was easy to watch. It passed Regulus, the pattern's brightest star, October 9th. Over three weeks later it passes the tail star and moves into Virgo in two mornings. Farther westward, the gibbous moon, 85% illuminated, is over halfway up in the west-southwest. It is 1.6 degrees to the upper left of Elnith, the bull's northern horn, as if it is impaled by the charging animal. In celestial artwork, this is a precarious place. Zeta Tauri, the southern horn, is 6.5 degrees to the lower left of the lunar orb. Use a binocular to see the stars easier in this moonlight. Bright Jupiter is below the moon and less than 15 degrees above the western horizon. As it nears opposition in two mornings, the planet is retrograding, appearing to move westward against the starfield. It is 11.7 degrees to the lower left of Hamel and 11.8 degrees from Menkar. At opposition, Jupiter rises into the eastern sky as the sun sets and sets in the west as the sun rises. The planet is bright enough to be seen near the horizon, with an unobstructed view. Later this month, the planet is no longer visible at this time interval. Additionally, the gap from Venus to Jupiter continues to widen. This morning, they are nearly 132 degrees apart. On December 10th, they are 180 degrees apart. Venus rises as Jupiter sets. This is a planet-to-planet -planet opposition, not unlike an outer planet's solar opposition. With Venus and Jupiter, Earth is between the two planets. In the evening sky, Mercury and Mars are not visible because they appear too close to the Sun. Jupiter and Saturn are visible after sundown. Saturn is easier to see in the south-southeast. One hour after nightfall, the ringed wonder is over 30 degrees above the horizon. The planet's westward retrograde has nearly ended. It stops and begins to move eastward again against the star field on November 4th. This evening it is 6.7 degrees to the upper left of Deneb Algdi, Capricornus tail. During its eastward ramble it begins to approach Scat, the Aquarian's leg, and Lambda Aquarii. Saturn is around 11 degrees west of those stars tonight. Jupiter, rising less than 10 minutes after sunset, is nearly 10 degrees up in the east at this hour. By two hours after sunset, the Jovian giant is over 20 degrees above the horizon. Around midnight, the planet is in the southern sky and in the west before sunrise tomorrow. Three hours after sunset, the gibbous moon, 79% illuminated, rises in the east-northeast. An hour later, the lunar orb is over 10 degrees above the horizon. It is over 10 degrees to the lower left of Elnith and over 50 degrees to the lower left of Jupiter. The moon is in the south over two hours before sunrise, when Jupiter is in the western sky and Venus is eastward. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.